Maggie. Um, you mentioned that um, the, the number of, to Russia. You were measuring the number of people on the border like varies between ten thousand and, and twelve thousand. I was wondering, do you I didn't have say varies between ten and twelve? I think Sorry. I said it was north of ten. We've heard from this building is that it varies between ten thousand and twelve thousand. We've heard twelve thousand number numerous times. So I'm wondering if there's some sort of explanation for this fluctuation, and also um, there's 19 million that's going toward a Ukrainian National Guard for training, um, something that they're going to do in Western Ukraine, I want to say it's in 2015. Is that going to be DOD personnel doing the training or civilian contractors? Um, so on your, on your, your question about the numbers, um, it's an imperfect science uh, trying to estimate the numbers of troops that another, the, the army of another nation has lined up somewhere. That's why we're being careful with the numbers and not offering some specific. I mean, it's not, they're not American troops, so I just can't simply give you the order of battle. That's a great question for President Putin. And, um, and I suspect, uh, as we, we continue to see uh, this area of southwest Russia, these troop, these troop deployments, and they, um, uh, they come and go, so it's it's difficult to give you a, a hard number on that. I just and I, so that's why we're being careful on that. And again, I think um, I'll give you the best estimate we can, but the person you really should ask is Vladimir Putin. On your question about the the uh, uh, the train and equip uh, money, so uh, the Defense Department and State Department have notified Congress of our intent to use 19 million dollars in Global Security Contingency Fund authority. Uh, to train and equip four companies and one tactical headquarters of the Ukrainian National Guard as part of their efforts to build their capacity for internal defense. Uh, this has to get congressional approval. Pending that approval, we anticipate that the training would begin in 2015. I don't have anything more specific for you than that. And would take place at the International Peacekeeping and Security Center inside Ukraine. Um, it's an area where we do multilateral exercises. It's, it's, it's an area uh, that we're familiar with. Um, and I don't have, uh, yeah, actually I do. Pending approval, U.S. Army Europe and or the California National Guard, which is the, uh, the state partnership uh, program unit uh, with Ukraine, will be the ones providing the trainers. Does that answer your question? Our intent to use $19 million in Global Security Fund authority. That's what the authority is for. Yes.